What's going on around today? We're going to take a look at how to change the name of the track. Of course, you can change the name by editing the desk file, like Storkens Tutorial Track. Something like that. So, save and exit. But that's only going to change the name in game. And the main thing I consider is you want to change this one because if you release a track that's called blank updated there's a big chance that there's already a track with that name released so I'm going to name this Storken Tutor Tutorial Track 1 I don't need a S What I'm going to do as well is copy uh, this file name uh, so it gets down here and we want to open up all the files that may contain the line blank track 2049 since that was our old folder name so I'm just going to close this one so we want to open up this one no uh, tile map you won't need to open tile info I don't think texture list is one terrain.hf is not one uh, you want to open the status shading no not uh, no no image files, so no ppm or png lighting, flaggers add info is just gradients, so you won't need that one decals and billboard uh, if, you're, if you're not sure you can just open every single file except for maybe the image files edit with notepad++ go to go to file that contains blank track 2049 then we want to click Control plus F, like find, uh, then replace, and uh, then we have find what, blank track 2049, replace with Storken tutorial track 1, because that's what we want to replace in. You can either take replace, or replace all, all in this file, or replace in all open document. And I want to replace in all of these files at once, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it replaced blank track 2049 with Storken tutorial track 1 2284 times. So if we go into the files here, we can see it's Storken tutorial track 1. Uh, flaggers didn't change, so we can close that one. We wanna save. Decals changed, so we wanna save that. Didn't have any custom billboards, so nothing happened here. Timing gates didn't happen anything, so we didn't need that one either. I just open up that one in case. Uh, tile info changed, so we're going to save. And status changed, so we're going to save that one as well. So that is how you change your name on the folder and in game correctly. So go ahead and do that in case you haven't. And this is especially important if you want to release the track to the public. If it's just you and you're tracking you're going to play it every now and then you may not need to do that but it's always nice to do it uh, also if you haven't made any single reference to the track folder you won't need to go in and change it but I believe for the most tracks you will make one or two references custom objects, another tile, anything, decals uh, so that's it uh, I'm going to continue make extended parts uh, where I show off other techniques, other things that aren't really necessary but good to know. So keep a lookout for those too. So I hope you enjoy this beginner track making tutorial. I hope you could learn something. If you have any questions at all, just ask and I will try to answer as much as I can. And I really hope this helped you out in some way. So check out the extended parts that will be available soon and have a great day.